Hello, my name is Ljubor Ankovic. In this screencast I will show you how Superdesk and Publisher can be used together. Superdesk is a content creation and management platform to which Publisher integrates simply by adding new option in the sidebar navigation. From there we can control incoming content, we can publish it to desired output channels and those output channels can be configured here we have several of them configured, for example, this daily news is this website, the uh, magazine, another website, and the Tribune, third website. Those are actually example themes that we have created and they can be used for publisher as they are or they can be, of course, customized to suit your needs. Configuring output channel uh, is simple. Once uh, we have it configured, we can also manage it. And configuring has several tabs. First one is to define the name and the subdomain or domain. Then defining the routes. And route is defined by several different properties like name, like type which can be collection or content. Collection the type of route is the route which gets articles attached to it, while content type of route is just the route that holds the exact content. We can also build uh, the routes with parent and child relations and we can define the templates from our team that will be used to open the route page and the page of articles attached to this route. Uh, next we can define the navigations and in this example we have two navigations defined main navigation and footer navigation. They are actually this. This is the main header navigation and this one footer navigation. We can fully control them from the backend by creating menu items and menu items are based on the routes that we have defined previously for example this one uh, it is defined by name by label the label is the value that is shown on the front end then the relation parent child for building the uh, building the cascading navigations and finally by the route that we have defined before we can choose between those that we have defined and then also we can create content lists and content lists are the sets of articles that we uh, uh, can use on our output channels in different ways uh, then they can be automatic or manual automatic content lists uh, are the sets of articles that are automatically uh, coming into them by uh, setting uh, s different rules, different criteria uh, on which articles are chosen. Uh, for example, uh, we can uh, combine r r criteria based on routes, on the author name, um, timestamps and by some metadata and every article that uh, fits in those uh, criteria or combination of criteria will come to this list. Uh, and on the contrary, manual content lists are the lists that are manually curated by the editors and they can, from the incoming content, they can uh, drag and drop article into the list and also the articles can be reordered inside the list and it will be of course reflected on the front page on the front end on front page we can use manual content lists to define uh, the articles so the top article in the manual content list can be top article and the rest articles are just those uh, under it let's now go to the super desk and create some article some piece of content and see how it uh, goes through the different stages and how it gets published to desired output channel. In uh, Superdesk we can define uh, desks 
uh, we can use them in different ways. Here we have one desk for the publication, the Tribune. We could also have different um, desks uh, based on the different categories that we are going to have or based on the content profile that we are using. But here, as I said, we are using only one desk for the whole publication. Creating new content item uh, opens empty form that we can fill with content. But for the, this presentation, we have already prepared some uh, dummy article. It's his. It, uh, this is uh, its preview, and here actually we can edit it. And you see the form is filled with content. Also, some metadata can be added here. And what we are missing is the image. We have also prepared one image here, so let's drag and drop it and make it featured media of this article. And as you can see, we can define the point of interest of this image and also we can define the area of interest. Let's say point of interest here and all these crops are now uh, recreated based on the point of interest that we have chosen. And these different crops are used on the, those different output channels uh, and every output channel can have several of those, for example, for front page, for s listings of articles, on category pages, and so on. So when we adjust the crops as we want, we can save and the article will be ready for publishing. Let's publish it. And now the article is published in Superdesk but not yet on the websites. Let's now check in publish queue uh, our article. It's here. It's still in progress. Now it's successfully published. If it's if there is some problem it will show what kind of error it is. So now as it is published we can go to publisher and we can see that our article, this one, arrived a few seconds ago in the incoming content and we can now decide where to publish it. Also because these lists can grow big there are filtering options so we can narrow the, the lists by um, choosing which website we want to filter to, to which uh, timestamps, also by other criteria. Now uh, we can publish our article and we have uh, output channels offered here, also the routes that where we can choose our uh, content to go. For example on daily news we want this article to go to politics, on magazine let's say to health, and on Tribune uh, local. Also we have option to live preview the article to see how it will look like when it is published to this uh, website. So it will show us uh, how the article will look like on the desktop, on the tablets of different uh, and on different orientations and on mobiles. For different website, it will show its theme. This feature is still uh, in in development, not fully um, uh, finished. So it shows the image placeholder instead of the actual image of the article. But the f the real feeling is already there. The article will, will look like this on this theme. Also, we can publish the article from here to Facebook Instant Articles for this publisher if we want. Let's say publish. And now this article is, as you can see, it is published to three different websites, the Tribune, the Magazine and Daily News. Let's see Daily News. Because this uh, uh, front page is built on simple logic to show the latest article, the top article, it's already showing here on Magazine. Similarly, it will show as top article here and on Tribune it won't because on this website we are using manual content list to define actually this list of articles. So let's go to our 
management of this output channel in this manual content list and we can simply move our articles article on the top of the list and save it and now if we refresh actually I, I chose wrong article we can find our article and move it on the top of the list save change and refresh and now it's here thank you for your patience